Hey guys, I'm Laura Harry, and today I'm going to be walking you through my skincare routine and then an easy evening going out glam look. So last night I slept with this mask on. This is Cora Organics Noni Glow Sleeping Mask. Now that it's the morning, I'm going to wash everything off and start my skincare. To remove my mask that I have on right now, I'm going to use this little muslin cloth. These I really like to use on my face. I just keep a whole stack of them in my bathroom because I feel like washcloths and towels kind of scratch my face a little bit. And also you probably aren't switching out your towel every single time that you're using it. Um, so it just feels a little cleaner and softer. Next, I'm going to do my cleanser. I kind of try and do like a little face massage when I wash it and do everything up because I was told that that helps to drain your face and I'm all into like lymphatic drainage. I feel like it depuffs everything. So I kind of just try and like work it all up like this. So a few years ago, I got really bad cystic acne all over my forehead. And I think it was just hormonal and I was traveling a ton and I was probably stressed and I just broke out so terribly and I've never experienced that. It sucked, <laughs> it was really alarming and it was upsetting and I hadn't dealt with the acne really till my late 20s. So that um, really forced me to get even more into skincare and do a lot of research and figure out how to balance what's happening on my face. Next, I'm going to do my toner, and this is P50. It's awesome, it doesn't smell great, but <laughs> it's worth it. Take two, and I get them wet first to, to dilute it, because it can be really strong, so I like to dilute it so it doesn't really burn my skin. So I have my wet cotton pads. And you always wanna do it up. So I start with my neck, and I just blot everything going up my face. So this is my eye cream. This is Clarins Total Eye Lift, and I really love this stuff. I've been using it for a few months, and I see a huge difference in the circles under my eyes, and the darkness, and it feels like it's opening up the whole area and getting rid of little, you know, fine lines and wrinkles that were there. So you just wanna press here. This is Placenta Serum. So I just take a few drops, and I put it I am going to do this IS Clinical Procule, and I really love this stuff. I love this brand. I've been using it for years. I just take a few drops in the palm of my hand. My last step in my skincare routine is sunscreen. You gotta wear sunscreen, it's really important. I wear this every day, and I like this. It's control corrective. I do this just as my moisturizer for daytime, and then at night I'll wear a heavier moisturizer, but during the day I just do this. As a woman of color, it's so hard to find sunscreen that doesn't make me look gray or ashy or leave a weird film on my face, and it's crazy how difficult it is to find that, honestly. So this brand doesn't do that at all. As you can see, it's just sheer and leaves you a bit glowy. So I've been using this one for years because it's the best that I've found. I like to do this orange blossom water that I got at a pharmacy in Paris. Mmm, it smells so good. But I really like this Rare Beauty foundation that I got because it's super sheer and it doesn't really feel like I have much on. I don't really go too far into my forehead, honestly, because I feel like my forehead is much darker than the middle of my face. And when I'm getting my makeup done, usually they use a bunch of different shades. I'm lazy. So I just kind of dot it around and I don't really need that much up here. So it's more like concentrate in the center of my face. Take my beauty blender. You know, I think it's so amazing now with brands like Fenty and rare and there's so many more shades available um, to match your foundation because I mean I remember when I was younger and I was modeling and it was insane 
how many people couldn't match my skin tone. And I remember crying on set because I would look crazy and be gray or ashy or, you know, it, it never worked. And I'm so grateful now to work with really talented makeup artists who know how to match my skin and know how to work with all different shades and all different skin tones. So I have this Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Concealer. So I just do a couple dots under my eyes. And I have these little spots here, so maybe I'll cover those too. I'm taking my same beauty blender. I never have been the biggest makeup person, to be honest. I really appreciate makeup and I think it's amazing what it can do and the ways that it can change your face and give you confidence and make you feel like a, a new person if you want. But for me, I was always much more into skincare because I would just rather not have to wear makeup and hopefully have a canvas that I feel good about to start on. And then for me, makeup's just sort of an added bonus. It's like the extra cherry on top. Next, I am going to brush my eyebrows a little bit with this Glossier Boy Brow. I love this stuff. This is the one makeup item that I literally wear every single day. If I have no other makeup, I really have to brush my eyebrows because they get crazy and out of control. I just like to brush them up. Next, I like to do some contouring. I just take this darker shade and rub my finger in here. And then I kind of suck in my cheeks to end, make a line along here. You can see that. And then I'll do a bit in my temple as well. And then to blend it, I just take the heel of my hands and stick it in here. I don't know if this is the real proper way, but it works for me. I've definitely been very contoured <laughs> at times in my life. I had people contour like my stomach, which is wild. But for me, this is this is all I got. And I just take that and dab it on my cheekbones. I like being highlighted and glowy for sure, but I don't get too crazy with it. The highlighted stripe down the nose, I just look oily. It doesn't really work. So I just like this because it's really subtle. You can see that this is very old and I use it all up. So this one I like to do as a blush and I like to just do like a little circle there. And it's like, I don't do a lot. Add the apples in my cheeks and blend it out. I'm gonna do a little bit more blush later, but first I'm gonna do my eyes. Um, I have this Fenty Beauty palette that I really like. I mainly use this one in the middle here. And I'm just gonna take my finger and smear it around. I use my fingers for a lot of stuff. I'm not the most organized makeup artist, <laughs> but I feel like it gets the job done. I kind of alternate between different eyeliner looks. Sometimes I do a line and then a little flick, but recently I've been doing more of a smudgy rimmed look. I have this Huda Beauty eyeliner. I like doing this look because it can be a bit messy as opposed to a really clean line. So I made it like a little thicker than I want right there. So I'm just gonna literally like smudge it in like this and hopefully it'll turn out okay. For mascara, I'm going to use this Glossier mascara. And I like this because it's really natural and my eyes never get clumpy. So I'm just gonna get in there. As an adult, I've been so fortunate to work with so many amazing people that I've learned so much from, but when I was younger, I just really had to figure this all out myself. Being mixed race and having a blonde, white mom with very straight hair and different skin tone than me, you know, she did the best she could for sure, but we just have different features, so we couldn't use the same things. At the time, I just kind of had to figure everything out myself. So for a little bit more blush and bronzer, I'm gonna use this Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic. Swirl a brush around in there and do a little smile and get it kind of worked up into my cheekbones. So for my lips, 
I'm gonna do some of this, it's like very small and almost gone, but this Urban Decay liner. And this is another trick I learned. I'm just gonna go and line my lips with this. I don't really do the overlining thing because I don't trust myself and I'm scared that I'm going to look crazy. And then I just take my finger and smear it in. And then I don't also need to do lip liner plus lipstick because for me, that's too much work. I'm not gonna do all that. My last step, which is also falling apart, <laughs> What is this Fenty Beauty lip gloss? I really was anti lip gloss for a long time. And then I discovered this and I love it. And you can see like, it's literally almost used up, which I've definitely never used a whole lip gloss in my life. So I just do a bit in the middle. So that's it. I hope you guys liked my skincare and beauty routine. This is our final date night going out look. And that's all I got. Thank you so much. Mwah. Bye.